All right, what's good, y'all? What's going on? It is your man, Gerard Kenneth. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into something real quick. I'm going to talk about keeping your master effects on every single part of your track out. We're doing certain things, certain effects, and we want that to affect our track outs, right? Every single one of them. Usually, we um, would render our track outs. We'll go to export. We'll go to wave file, right? Or we'll hit control R and we'll have it do this. You set all this stuff up here, right? Yeah, hooray. And then we'll go to splitter track, and we're assuming that these effects or whatnot is going, are going to affect our track outs once we're done, right? Because it's affecting the track, the tracks here that we're, whatever we're sending to the mixer, it's affecting it within, within the DAW, but for some reason it doesn't translate when we're tracking out, right? So that's what we don't want to do. So um, I made a beat for uh, Pack the Innovator. Cool. All right, so we got that established. Now it's like, okay, well, what can you do? And usually um, when we're making our beats, we tend to put something in like one pattern here, right, on, on a track, right? But for in order for this to work, it's low-key like meticulous. In order for this to work correctly, you have to separate it. Otherwise, you won't be doing a track out. You will be actually doing a, you will be creating a stem for the beat. And that's something that we don't want to do. We don't want to create a stem, right? The stem is with like more than one track or more than one sound on that track. That's something that we don't want to do. Now, how do we go ahead and get into this? Because I wanted to stop right there. We're going to go to Tools, right? And we got that all selected. You can do like a Pasade playlist selection or export all playlist tracks again and do it from time selection. So you can do it from song start, track start, but when you're selecting it on your own, then you're going to do a time selection. So again, you pick your folder. So we're going to go back to my client folder. I'm going to go to the folder here. So now we got that established. Yay, hooray. So now we got it ended, ended way back there. So now this is ungrade, right? And it says enable effects on the master track, which is what you wanted to do. So I'm going to do a background render, and it's going to render every single uh, playlist, uh, every track for this on this playlist here. Okay, it's going to render every single part of that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a back uh, background render for it. Goes the track outs, right? So now you you see it differently because traditionally we'll see something that says track out. Well, let's go to a different. This is an example from a different beat, but usually we'll see like the master and then we'll see something that says current, right? Let's play the snare and then see how that how that goes. So that's the example. And that's going to do it all across each track out. So I'm not going to play the beat because this song hasn't been released yet, let alone has he recorded it. <laughs> so I'm not going to play the beat. 